Max B TV, Bobby with all the freaking hobbies coming at you. Guess what? Lucky dogs. Oh my. Tuesday night, Gen 6. Where are they at? Hot Lana. Two fast repairs is what they get. Tires, tires, tires. Did I mention tires? Oh yeah. You gotta really take care of them here. It will eat you up. And it gets just a little bit slick. Ring flag pit stops could be an issue as well. But you guys, stick around. Let's see who can prevail. Let's see what happens. A lot of guys, a lot of good guys out here capable of winning this thing. Guys that have been on a mission for a while. Gary Slapinski, Paul Witt, Whitmer Sr., BK Pierce, Michael Pegg. I mean, I can go on here. Thomas Holder. A lot of guys. I'm sure I've missed a few of them, but I'm telling you, this is going to be an exciting race. Always is with the Lucky Dogs. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after the anthem.
Welcome back, everybody. Lucky Dog Gents series here on a Tuesday. Max Speed TV, Bobby with all the hobbies coming at you. A little tidbit about the lead. This is where it's at. This is where the money is. The sponsorship, unbelievable. Fiber Optics Construction is the main one, and everybody else is down there on the left. I mean, there's a boatload of money here for these guys for a championship. As they head to the grid, we'll go through. Hopefully, maybe. We'll do our best, how's that? All right, let's get through this. Row number one, the coolest name in iRacing, Gary Slapinski. 34 beside him, Darren Razor. Let me tell you, that guy's been on a tear lately as well. Row number two, the 429 Max Speed TV driver, Mr. Paul Witt. The 44, Jacob Edson. Row three, the triple seven. The only triple crown winner that I know. Best of league owner, Michael Pegg. The double zero, Thomas Holder beside him. Row 4, the 86, Bill English, and the 7, William McKellar. Row 5, the 0, 0, 4, Jeff Gilmore, and the 57, we call him Sarge, BK Pierce. Row 6, the 30, 36, John Dunn, and the 111 of John Henderson. Row 7, the 98, Austin Collins, and the 59, Ralph Blair. Row number 8, the 107, Jarrett Rogers, the 37, Doug Lockrove. Row 9 to 33, Gary Reglin and the 52, Gary Whitmer Sr. Row 10, the 19, Ben Gear and the 40, Timothy Woodson. Row 11 to number 3, Kendall Kraft and the 2 of Mr. Chris Hoey. Weather, it's cool. And it better be cool. Because things is going to heat up quick here. Multiple championships have been won by Slapinski, the 429. Brian, or Paul Witt. Triple seven, Michael Pegg behind him. So things is gonna definitely heat up. A lot of good contenders here in this race tonight. Welcome everybody out in YouTube. We're gonna have a blast. These guys put on a show, period. And here we go. Lucky Dog, Gen 6 Series here in Hotlanta. Being shot out like a bullet, taken off right off the bat. Slapinski. Nice little battle behind him going on. 34 to 429. Reezer and Wick. And here comes the triple seven threat of Michael Pegg. And like I said, triple seven, right there it is. Maybe that's how he got the triple seven number, huh? Triple crown champion. Now 
Now these two cats know how to get around here as well. I'm talking about Thomas Holder and Jacob Edson. Keep an eye on them both. What I like about the old Atlanta versus the new, well, everything. Talk to the guys and ask them the difference in these things, what they like better. And they said definitely the old Atlanta. You see them right here, a little bit of real estate between some of these guys. A nice little pack going on right here. BK Pierce bringing up the rear of it. Edson leading the way, and then you work up to these guys up here. So they kind of spread out just a tad. And I can assure you these four cats up here are like nothing more to sail off into the sunset. Down in the bottom, the 4 Jeff Gilmore, he's coming. You can see the leaders up in front of him up there. Edson takes the high line around this place. And Gilmore cuts off a little bit of real estate going down to the bottom. Then you go on back to these guys. Three clusters, you might want to call it. Or technically four. Ralph Blair leading the way. It's Austin Collins, Jared Rogers, Lockrow, Woodson, and a 52, Mr. Gary Whitmer Sr. I do not know when they're going to come into pits. I don't know their fuel run, and I don't want to know it. Keeps it kind of interesting. Tires fall off? Yeah, probably right around 25 laps, 28 laps, I'd say. You really got to take care of them, that's for sure. These guys have come down right off the bottom and they'll hug all the way up against that wall to get that momentum going. And it also a lot easier on your tires too. A whole lot. See Michael running that inside line. Now a lot of these guys up there hang right up, right up to the wall. And you can hear him throttle. Just play with that throttle.
Paul Witt getting in the rearview mirror of Slapinski. Takes it down to the bottom side, and Gary keeps it up top. Peg sitting back here watching the show. These three cats up in front of him. I'll be shocked if you see more than one caution in this race. And that's only because the tires are gone and it's getting real loose. Pierce back here right behind Holder. And Holder right there peeking at the 44 of Edson. And you can see Edson right there wiggled just a little bit. You see Holder right there. Just a tad bit sideways coming out of that turn there they say smooth is fast coming back a little ways you see now everybody's starting to be single file and that's usually the way it works Front, Slapinski still leading the way. Darren taking a nice little peek in the inside for second on Paul Witt. Paul says, I don't think so, not yet. And Michael, sitting here watching these guys, wouldn't be surprised if he doesn't try to split them and go three wide. Still a long race. Plenty of time to do whatever they want to do. You don't want to get crazy here. Twenty out of a hundred. In the books and gone. Riding around with Slapinski, I'll tell you. He knows how to get around this track. Let's take a ride with him all the way around here. Let's see his line. Listen to him feather the accelerator. <laughs> Tell you what, let's see what happened right here. Not sure which one it might be. Rewind it back here. My telemetry is not telling me nothing. 
Well, I gotta go out and hunt it. Got a little loose right there. I don't know if that would cause this or not. Something definitely calls our caution. My telemetry tells me I can't find it. I will say. Somebody may have just scraped the wall, I was guessing. But as you can see, all these cats are going to come in and head back out. For the life of me, I could not find that caution. Two lead changes. This guy is a lap hog here. Your top five, Slipinski, Wit, Razor, Peg, Gilmore. Get a chance to look at that front row furniture machine, Mr. Slipinski. And then, of course, the 429, the Max Speed TV, man himself, Mr. Paul Witt. Can't look at that car too much. It makes me hungry. Good looking paint job on that one. All these regulators, they always have great paint jobs. Take a look at Michael's. That Georgia limousine. It's a sweet looking paint job for sure. Jeff Gilmore. The old classic. Rusty Wallace ride. There's your top five. Keep on going here. Collins and Pierce, Holder, Blair, Woodson. It's your top ten. Now this track compared to the so-called New Atlanta. The huge difference is down there in the bottom of the track, that transition. Man, if you hit that, it will throw you. This place is not as bad. But it will eat your tires up just as easy as the other one. There's your field you can stare at as they tighten things up. And we get ready to rock and roll here once again. You got a favorite driver? You want to say, hey, hello, unhook the plow, accelerator's on the right, pick it up, whatever you want me to tell them. You type it, I'll say it. Guys get a kick out of that but man what these guys are playing for the stakes are high because this is big money when you hop into a lucky dog racing series you're hopping into money as we get ready to fire it off again here Slipinski in the bottom in the rocking chair, as I like to call it. Paul Witt way up top trying to give him something.
Peg down on the bottom. Everybody else seems to be rolling up on that high side. Michael, he likes it down on the bottom. Paul trying to get close enough there, close enough up there to Slapinski, maybe perhaps to rattle his chains just a little bit. Gonna take more than that to rattle his chains. These two guys have nothing but a boatload of respect for each other. But you've seen how high Slapinski went up that track, and that gave just enough room and momentum for Paul Witt to try to take advantage of that down on the bottom. Run him with the 34. Hanging right with him. Darren does a really good job. He likes that high line too. You see him pull right up on Michael and he had to get out of or Paul and he had to get out of it. You don't want to get out of it too much because you got Michael in your rear view mirror now. Really good run for the 4 Jeff Gilmore. And you go back here just a little ways with this other cluster coming, led by Collins. Take a look at Brian Pierce. That's what I like about this track. It is wide. I mean, <laughs> this track's as wide as your mother-in-law's backside. You know what I'm talking about. Plenty of room. You can go three wide all day long and not hurt anything. And for some of you guys, it lets your wife watch when you're when you're racing here. I can just hear her right when I said that. Did that broadcaster just say hey, this track was as wide as mom's? Oh my goodness. Her backside is not that big. <laughs> well, it's a wide track. Michael Pegg knows how wide this track is. He could probably compare it to his, his special friend that he has. It has a boat beside his boat and the old boat slip. Well, trouble back here. The 86 decided to go in and slam the wall. Now, I don't know. I don't think that's going to bring out a caution because he gathered it up and kept running on a rocking. See if I can find out what happened real quick, just to let you know. You see the 86 right here. There it was. I think Mr. Pierce or the 57 there might have come down on him just a smidge. I don't think he knew he was even there. Boy, that'll put some skid marks in your shorts, won't it? Butt pucker factor of about a seven, I think. Slapinski, he's got some company up here. Paul, Darren, and Michael. The double zero four of Mr. Gilmore. They're all right here with him.
back to this other cluster again. Collins is leading the way here. No, he's not. What am I talking about? That 59 of Ralph Blair is, but the 40 of Timothy Woodson would like to have it. Love that Grave Digger ride. That is sharp. Keep on going back. Mr. Whitmer. Choose. There's Gary Reglin. BK back here in the 15th spot now. Two people to lap down. That'll be the 36th machine of Mr. John Dunn and the William McKellar right here. Everybody else is on the lead lap. Still on the bottom. Paul Witt trying to trying to catch him. Gilmore sneaks up into the third spot. Paul dives it way down, trying to pick up a little something, something. But these five cats here. They have pulled away. Just a tad. Let me show you the distance right here. Those are your leaders up front. Heading into turn one. Working on halfway already into this race. One caution and I couldn't find it. How pathetic is that, huh? Whoa, sideways! <laughs> if I can find him, I've lost him. There he is, he brought it back up. He hung on to that thing. And I'm going to tell you, that was definitely a butt pucker of about a nine. Had to have been. Good Lord Almighty. I'm going to bring it back. I got to see it. Take a watch. Right there, he gets just gets loose. And I don't know how he did it, but he did. That's some stand-up driving on his part. He'll hop back in line and catch back up with these guys. Darren's back just a little bit. Could have been worse. He could have been into the wall. You can see how much he had to... He dropped back trying to gather that thing up. So Collins and Blair doing a little battle in here. This is about the tightest battle I think I got going on the track right now is these two cats. I 
I would imagine probably I'm thinking within the next probably five to eight laps maybe ten they might be coming in We could see our first green flag pit stops, which are always fun. You gotta separate the men from the boys, I promise you. Really hard to practice green flag pit stops with everybody. Maybe Darren can make up a little bit of that time he lost in the pits. Oh, he's sideways trying there again. Did you see that? Boy, I tell you what, he is letting it all hang out. I mean, all hang out. Slapinski is checked out. Now Gilmore is going to take second place from Michael Pegg right here. As we reach the halfway mark, peg down on the bottom. Around 25 laps, 26 laps, these tires start to get, well, let's just say they get wore a little bit just to make the handling a little tough. These guys are going to play nicely for a little bit. We'll pop back here and check a few guys out. Pierce back in the 14th spot. Three people have has left the race. And we have one guy, and that will be McKellar right here. He is one lap down. Take a look if I can show it. I don't know. You can't quite see it because of the camera angle. But Macho Man Randy Savage is holding my head. <laughs> I swear he is. <laughs> Boy, do my boys get creative. Sapinski, or Slapinski, I like to call him. He's led 50 laps in this 53 lap race. He was extremely kind enough. But the 429 Paul Witt and the 34 Darren Razor to actually lead a lap each. Another, other than that, it's been him as he smacks the wall. And Michael says, uh, might be a mistake. Does that just suck Michael right up to him? But you gotta watch Michael. He's tricky. Just when you think he's not having a good day or having a problem, he'll put the pedal to the old metal the way he goes, and here he comes. Might be the only guy I know in I racing. It kind of gets bored. I don't know. But he's not bored right now because he's side by side with Slapinski. And he is not going to give that spot up. 
And he falls back in line. While all that's going on, Mr. Austin Collins started 13th, and here he sets third, working his way up with Paul Witt right behind him in tow. And, of course, Mr. Gilmore, that's your top five right there. Darren's still back here trying to work on it. Get back up there with those boys where he was at. Before he... Kind of lost it a little bit. He was right up there battling with these guys in the lead. But he saved it miraculously, and here he sits in the sixth spot trying to get it back up. I have no clue when these guys are going to be coming in the pits. I would imagine they'll probably be in within the next three or four, but I could be wrong. I never ask because I like to keep it, you know, the suspense. But I know one thing's for sure. If your leader comes in the pits and you don't follow, that could be a no-no. Because if you can't catch him on old tires, you're certainly not going to catch him on new ones. Ralph Blair to 59, sixth position, started 14th. That Grave Digger ride. I love that paint job. Look at that. I actually had a chance to see Grave Digger in Toledo, Ohio. My daughter at the time, I think, was 12, 11. She was actually picked to be a judge. So that was a lot of fun. But Anderson wasn't driving it. It was uh, Chucky. Chuck. Personally, I kind of thought he was just as good, if not better. That guy was crazy. <laughs> Collins, I'm telling you. He's on a mission. Currently second now. He just took third away from Michael Pegg. As you get a three-car separation from the fourth place finish, or fourth place guy here, and the fifth place of Witten Gilmore. And now here they come. Paul's coming in as he locks it up. Now, here's the big question. Let's ride with him. Did somebody get a speeding ticket here, possibly? As he comes into the pits like a herd of turtles. Let's see if he got nailed or not. Did he get her slowed down in time? Still waiting. And I think that's going to be a negative. I do believe he got caught for speeding. So that's got to hurt him a little bit as he sits and waits patiently. Or should I say non-patiently. He'll take off in a minute. Might have held him for about 30 seconds. Let's see. He's still sitting there. There he goes. Yep, that's got to hurt him immensely. That is going to take him all the way from, let's see, he was fourth or fifth. And that just stuck him all the way back down here at a 16th, two laps down.
Colin says, hey, lap hog. Really like to lead me a lap here. As they do a little battling. Way back here is third. So everybody's been into the pits except for Collins, Slipinski, Rogers, Woodson, and Henderson. But everybody else has been in the pits. And you can tell because they're going to drive right by Henderson like he was going backwards. That's what happens on fresh tires. I believe Gary, yep, here comes Gary. He's coming in. So it's left up to Collins as he decides to come in now. And here comes Rogers. Woodson's going to go around again along with Henderson. As Austin Collins brings his right into a stop. Now this guy, Michael Pegg, he's been in and out, and here he comes. He's going to be sitting in a pretty decent spot here when this is all said and done. And here comes Woodson. And Henderson stays out one more lap. And you can tell what 45 flat total tires it looks like. He needs to be bringing that thing in and bringing it in now because everybody that came into the pits is going to eventually pass him. Anyway, your leader eventually will be Michael Pegg as soon as this guy comes in. Slapinski, you take a look way up yonder is your leader, Michael Pegg. So the guy that's led the most laps has got his work cut out for him here a little bit. So right now, we'll call John Henderson Mr. Ill uh, Irrelevant for right now. Because his lap times is slower. Real slow compared to everybody else on those worn out tires. So he will be coming in, just a matter of when. And to show you what I mean, let's take a look. He's got to take it all the way down to about 155 and then get back up into it again. Now, a guy with fresher tires, he's actually picking up speed. <laughs> so you're looking at about a, almost a 10 mile an hour difference or more. That new tires and old tires have on each other. check here Gary's running about the same speed as Michael is just Michael got out had a better pit stop
were talking about Paul Witt. And there is Paul. Working on a, getting his lap back. And most of these guys will get their lap back as soon as this guy heads in to the pits. Or they'll pass him and get it back that way. Thomas Holder's having a good run. He is in the top 10, currently ninth. As he comes off that turn a wee bit on the loose side. They're driving them all out. BK Sarge, he is in the top 10. Now just out of the top 10 right here is Gary Whitmer. <laughs> they get they get a handful there. I mean, even with good tires, they still can be a handful. Darren here all by himself. Ain't nobody bothering him. He's currently in seventh. Got a little ways to go before he's ever going to catch up with this guy. And that will be for the sixth spot. Darren's sitting way back here in seventh. I don't know. I'm beginning to wonder. I'm getting a little nervous. <laughs> Is Henderson going to be able to stay out here for this entire part of the race? There he is. Maybe he's saving fuel. And why not? He's got a good enough lead. But, Michael Pegg is coming. And again, 15 lap tires versus 56 lap tires. Who do you think is going to come out a winner and prevail on that one? Slipinski's made up some time on Michael peeking in the corners, and I gotta tell you, Austin's looking good, setting in fourth right now. Nobody around to bother him. You just gotta hit your mark. Gary creeping in ever so slowly. On Michael. And both of those cats are creeping up on Henderson. And I would imagine they're going to take him right here. New tires, old tires. So for right now, here's your battle. As Henderson fades back. He says, I've had enough. I got to come in. And he does. He lets him lapse. 14 of them, to be precise. Slapinski down at the bottom. 
Takes it way up high. Gets around Michael for that. Right now, top with him. You know, you got to have a lot of patience to do this. There's Collins in third and fourth all the way back here is Jeff Gilmore. And Jeff looks, he can barely see that third place spot up yonder. And fifth, Ralph Blair. Poor Darren, he just could not, well, he recovered from his almost spin, but he had to get out of it so much, and he lost so much, he just unable to get back up there again. But he's currently in seventh, but man, what a save he had. Sometimes it bites you in the butt. You're sitting on two fast repairs, but you got the talent to save the car when something happens, so what do you do? You save the car and you look like a hero. But yet you're so far back in no man's land as he bounces into the wall there trying his best. To get back up front. Or you take the caution and get your free repair and get back out there. But Darren did a heck of a job holding it. But fortunately he paid the piper for it. Slapinski. Puts the afterburners on. Puts a little bit of distance between Collins and Peg. Tell you what, this cat right here has been pretty impressive now. Kendall Kraft behind him. He's a lap down. Henderson's now a lap down. Paul Witt is a lap down. McKellar is two laps down. This guy's been on a tear, Slapinski has. I'm telling you. Awesome. But you don't sell nothing short for Austin Collins because he's been doing awesome as well. He started 13th. So Penske, he's been the pole cat in this race. Nine to go here at the line. All you got to do is keep it clean and hit your marks. And it could be a Slapinski Collins peg night. I do believe you get some points for leading laps. I know you get some great bragging rights when you win the race. Gary's off to a heck of a look behind him here. No, that's uh, Austin Collins back yonder.
pretty much all over but the crying it looks like Slapinski I tell you this guy he could probably drive it around here on rims and no tires he's that good Michael looks like he's got to be comfortably sitting in third. Gilmore. Don't see no pressure for him anywhere. I'd say he's probably going to get fourth. And fifth is going to be Jarrett Rogers. All they got to do is keep it clean for the next five laps. BK there in eight. Thomas Holder back here in ninth. Thomas better hang on because Timothy Woodson would really like to have that spot. So believe it or not, your biggest battle's right here. And you want to be careful. You don't want to bring out a caution and bunch all these guys back up. But they're going to battle it out hard. Slipinski's got to put some lap traffic perhaps behind or in front of Collins here. But Collins is coming, but Slipinski's just relaxing. I know what he's doing. He's not even got to pass that lap car. We got quite a few of them up here. He's going to meet, he's got to meet and greet them. But he's got his eye on Collins. He'll keep his distance from him, I'm sure. But again, <laughs> Gilmore right there in fifth. He is all over the 107 of Rogers. Who is in fourth? Good battle there. Blair comfortably setting in that sixth spot. Pierce currently in eighth. But up here, throwing a little lap traffic here on the last lap coming up. Putting some traffic between him and Austin Collins back here in a black and blue and white machine, I believe. So we hit the line, we got one to go, it looks like. And if everybody plays nicely and just hits their marks. You're gonna have these cats right here. It's gonna be your top five of this race. There it is, folks. Your winner. Your polecat and your winner. Gary Slapinski. Gets it done. Austin Collins. He's going to be second. Michael Pegg will be third. Fourth. Jarrett Rogers. Jeff Gilmore, fifth. Sixth, Blair. Darren, 7th, BK, Sarge, 8th, ninth, Timothy Woodson, and 10th, Thomas Holder. That's the top 10 right there. Get a little picture right here, Mr. Slapinski.
Here's your winner, Gary Slipinski. We'll get a chance. We'll speak with him. Austin Collins and Michael Pegg. Top three. Max Speed TV, Bobby Bell, the Hobbies coming at you on a Tuesday. The Lucky Dog Gen 6 Series in Atlanta right here. Don't you guys go anywhere. We'll be right back, I promise. We got big time problems with that motor, buddy. Hey, just between you and me, the idea is to avoid the other cars. Congratulations! You just set the sport back 30 years with that move. That move will put you in the hall of shame. You keep doing stuff like that and we're gonna lose our sponsor. Looks like that's it for us today. Now I know why you got canned by your old team. It's over. We can't fix that damage. He got Brian, he got Thomas, and number 86. Who's 86? We are back. We will chat. We will talk. Let's see. Let get things together here. Oh. Third place, no stranger to anybody. Talk to me, Mr. Michael Pegg. How'd you like your race? Uh, I was loose. It was real loose. It's tough. It's slick out there. Yeah, it seemed like it was getting... Now, when did you start losing your tires? Like, after 20? Or even before that? Uh, Well, it, it depends on your tire management. Um, I was good on the first run. That second run, I tore them up. I pitted way too early in the second round. Well, hey, you can't win them all, but I'll tell you what, I mean, it was, it's great watching you guys battle up there for front. That's that's a lot of fun. Yeah, it's watching uh, Austin come out of nowhere. He's amazing on that tire wear tonight. He did really good. Yeah, he sure did, definitely. By far, he did great. But, uh, well, you finished third, my friend. You had a good night. You had fun. So... What's on your mind? Who do you want to thank before I let you go enjoy your wonderful Tuesday evening? I want to thank all the guys from Lucky Dogs, all the regulators. I want to thank Max Speed TV. I want to thank uh, Molly, Tracy, and Cash. All right. You take care. We'll talk to you, you soon, bud. Thanks, sir. Next up, the man of the hour. But I can't find the other ones. They left us. <laughs> But the most... say, he's straight arrow with an arrow, isn't he? He's just straight arrow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he says what he's got to say. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I love him. <laughs> man of man of very few words. <laughs> but perhaps a lot of wisdom, maybe. Yes, he does. When you get him on the phone, yes. <laughs> All right, Gary. You were the pole cat of this race, and you won the race, bud. It's pretty impressive. Yeah, it didn't come without a whole lot of challenge. I will say that. There was plenty of them that got alongside of me there, especially Paulie. He got alongside of me. really gave me a chase for my money. I will say that. Got me loose quite a bit. Quite a bit. I didn't let him know he got me loose, but he definitely got me loose a lot. Well, you let 81 laps, so it's official. You are considered the lap hog of the race. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a pretty good thing to be called, isn't it? 
I, I'll take it. I'll take yeah. it. I like clean air. I'll take I, the clean air. Absolutely. I hear you. But uh, tire management is the big thing here. I'll tell you what. I'll take this track over that new Atlanta any day of the week. Yeah, yeah, I do. I do. I think this track is just, it's more raceable. You know what I mean? Other ones just, hey, let's all hold it wide open and see what happens. Well, hey, who you want to thank before I let you get out of here and enjoy your whopping Tuesday evening? Oh, I'm going to thank you. Uh, I'm going to thank uh, Lucky Dog Racing, Max B TV, uh, of course, uh, FOC, and uh, Russell's Landscaping. Uh, I'd like to thank, um, who else I'd like to thank here? I'd like to thank uh, my wife and kids. Uh, you know, every night you let me do this, you know, a little simulation I like to do here. Release some stress on the racetrack. <laughs> I'll tell you what. You definitely uh, you leave you leave some stress on the racetrack. You also leave everybody else on the racetrack. So <laughs> yeah, I, I hate to make mistakes, and I made a mistake earlier in the week here and at another race, and I don't know. I was kind of angry at myself, and I was like, you know what? I got to go out and win one, make me feel better. <laughs> and it works, don't it? Yes, I always feel better. That always make me feel better. Awesome, glad to hear it. All right, you take care of yourself, buddy. Have a good. One. We'll catch you here later on into the week. Thank you. Take care. Bye. Well, we got through it. No problem. Good Lord Almighty. We had one caution, and I couldn't even find it. Unbelievable. I told you, these guys don't mess around. Your winner, Gary Slipinski, the Lucky Dog, Gen 6 Series. Don't forget, watch these guys. They've got so much stuff going on. I think they got, uh, I believe they got trucks on Thursdays. Uh, Fridays they had the Super Modifieds, and of course, uh, Saturday night they've got uh, their Super Speedway. So join us. Let's have a little fun. Max B TV, Bobby, all the hobbies. I'm out of here. See ya.